Well, we were warned about the spread of COVID-19 and how that could coincide with the bad flu season, causing what they called a twindemic. CBS 12's Danielle Wall reports on new evidence that the dual epidemic scenario is looking less likely as influenza numbers remain low. More Americans are getting the flu shot this year and they're getting it done earlier than normal. Infectious disease experts tell me we are seeing the benefits of that right now and potentially avoiding that twindemic disaster. I think I've seen one flu influenza since uh, since uh, late August. And is that unusual? Very unusual. This time of year, infectious disease specialist Dr. Leslie Diaz expects to get busy with flu patients, but this season she's had barely any. She suspects one reason why. But if I had one guess, it would be increased administration of flu vaccine. It's estimated 23.5 million Americans got the flu shot between August and October of this year, compared to 12.6 million in the same time frame last year. I thought it was important. I'm over 65. Timothy Sheehan always gets a flu shot, and he feels safer knowing more of his neighbors have one too. It's just like one less uh, thing you would have to worry about getting ill, this, especially this season. Due to the COVID crisis, even the young and healthy are taking more precautions. I just follow protocols. I'm, I'm not trying to give any trouble to anybody. If they tell me to wear a mask, I'll wear a mask. Health experts say all the mask wearing and social distancing to prevent COVID is also stopping the spread of the flu virus. The CDC says these public health measures are paying off. This graph tracks influenza visits to doctor's offices throughout each flu season. This year's numbers are the lowest and well below 2019. And while it's still early in the season, Dr. Diaz says she's confident the twindemic crisis has already been averted. But as COVID cases still rise, she says the work is far from over. Don't let down your guard. I want to, I know you can get COVID fatigue uh, and by getting COVID fatigue, you will also uh, open up a box and a door for the influenza virus to propagate and uh, spread. It is not too late to get your flu shot. As you can see, they're offered at pharmacies like this one, doctor's offices, and even Publix locations. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News.